I'll be showing how to use AI-powered flashcards. This feature is part of the new Learning Activities app and is now rolled out across all of M365, including for students and educators. So let's get started. First off, we'll launch the new Learning Activities app. This is where the flashcards feature is found. So I'm here in Word, and if you go to the Waffle, this works in any of the apps like Excel or OneNote or Word, and there's this new Learning Activities. And if you're a student or an educator, it's gonna show up here. I can launch it like this, and now I'm directly inside of the Learning Activities app. Other places you can launch it from, if you're in the Copilot app, which is the new office.com, down under apps, if you go to all apps, you'll find it right here under productivity, you're gonna see learning activities. If you filter on education, you'll also see this learning activities app. And if you go into all apps, you will also find learning activities. So you can launch it from there, but the easiest place is honestly right from the waffle in any of the apps that you have right here. So now let's go into the learning activities app. To start today, I'm gonna to be showing how students can use it and also educators can use it in the exact same way. In the second half of the video, I'll be showing how educators can use it in the Teach module or from within Teams for Education. I'm gonna get started though, just with the creating a simple flashcards activity. So I'll go to new flashcards. So the first step is putting in your learning content and you can put up to 50,000 characters. You have a minimum of 240 just to get started. You can also add other content. So you can add Word documents or PDFs as additional grounding material. In my case, I'm gonna put in a bunch of material I have about the Revolutionary War. I'm gonna paste all those notes here. So here's a whole bunch of stuff I've got for the Revolutionary War. You choose your language, so I've got English here, but many different languages. And then at the bottom, you've got different flashcard types. So maybe I want term definition and question and answer. I could add multiple choice as a third type, or I could just choose one type but I will leave both of these types on here. You can also say generate a hint for each card. If you want hints, that's great. If you don't want hints, uncheck it. We'll leave this checked and I will click generate. So AI is gonna now generate a bunch of draft flashcards. And here it goes. So AI has generated a bunch of cards. I've got term and definition, so stamp act, sugar act, tea act, and then question and answer down here. Why did Britain start taxing the colonies, etc. So lots of questions and answers. And I can go and I can edit each of these. So in this case, I wanna go and I wanna edit the sugar act. I can change the front side, change the hint, change the back side. Also, you can add images really easily. And if I click this, it'll go and search images automatically from Bing. So I hit add, great. Now I've got an image for the sugar act. Maybe I wanna go and add one for the stamp act. I'll add this, so you get the idea. Now I can also change the order. So if I want to move this one down, now the stamp act is moved down. I can go and I can click and drag manually as well. So maybe I want to put the stamp act at the top. Now if I want to preview what all of this looks like, there is a preview button here and we'll see what it looks like. So now we're in preview mode. Here's the stamp act. Click on the card to flip the other side. A 1765 law requiring special stamped paper. Great, I know this one, we'll go to the next one. The sugar act. Right, I don't know this one. The Townsend Act, great, I know this one. So you can go through and look at these. Boston Massacre, oh, okay, that's a deadly 1770 clash, and we'll keep going. So you can really quickly see how these flashcards work. And I'm gonna exit preview mode here. Now, if you wanna enhance with the AI, you can actually still tweak things. So I can go and say, maybe use more precise vocabulary and explanations, and I could regenerate everything. I'm not gonna do that. You can still change the card type, so maybe I wanna add multiple choice to these, I could regenerate, and I can go and say, don't include hints, and regenerate. So lots of options to keep tweaking after you're done, and it will save different drafts. So let's say I go and I regenerate all these. It still keeps a draft, so if I hit the arrow here, this goes back to my originals, I can compare it to the new drafts. Oh, this is quite different in the changes that it made. So we'll go back to the original draft. Okay, I've got my draft here, and now I'm ready to go, so I will choose Save Activity. Great, this is saved. Now I can go to the three-dot menu, and I can say to shuffle the card, so maybe I want to shuffle how these cards go when I go through it. If I wanna start over, I can do that. Keyboard shortcuts, so I can do things like use the space bar to flip a card, use the up and down and back and forward zeros, so really quickly navigating those. And then if you wanna get insights on how you've been doing, if I go to activity summary, you can say how many times I've completed it, 
which ones I know, which ones I'm still learning. So I'm gonna go through really quickly and get some insights on this. So we'll speed up. And at the end, it says how I did. So I got 75% right, I got 15 out of 20. Here are the five that I'm still working on. I can retry the ones that I miss. So if I wanna go back again, let's say this time I get them all right, we'll go through. Great, now I know 20 out of 20, I got all these right. And I can view the summary. I've completed this one time. Great, I know all these, I'm still learning some of these. And you have all the details below. Now, as a student, if I wanna share these with my friends or my peers, I can click share and I can copy the link. And now I can send that to anyone I want and they can try these out as well and they can join in directly. You can also use a join code if you'd like. We'll go back to the main learning activities. So I can create lots of different flashcards. I can save and bookmark. So I've bookmarked this one. If I hit the three dot menu, I can also get into sharing or editing or deleting and you can create lots of different flashcard packs. Now we'll switch over to an educator. I'm signed in as an educator, and I'm in the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. This is the formerly office.com. You can get here by going to microsoft365.com. And as an educator, you're gonna see this teach module. I will click here, and this loads up the teach module. And this is available to all educators who use M365. I won't do a deep dive demo here. There's a link in the upper right. But in the teach module, if you go to study aids, you will see flashcards. We're also working on some other learning activities that are coming in the future for fill in the blanks and matching, but I'll focus on flashcards today. So if I go to flashcards, this brings up that same dialogue that you saw earlier. This is the one that's built into the teach module. It works the same way, so I could paste in that same revolutionary war content. All this good stuff, we'll hit generate, and just like before, it will generate a set of flashcards and I can save that activity. When I'm done, I can choose to view the flashcards and this pulls up the same learning activities area that you saw as a student. This is what I see as a teacher, so it looks very similar. I can create join codes. I can view all the insights just like it is a student. But if I share this with students, all the insights on their flashcard usage will come back as an educator. So if I drilled in here, I can see how many students started, how many students completed their average score and the challenging cards. So as an educator, I can see how those students have been practicing the flashcards in my classroom. So as an educator, if I created this set of flashcards and I wanna share them, I have a join code that I can give to my students. So in this case, let's say I give the join code out, we'll sign in as a student, Alex, who's gonna enter that join code. So here I am signed in as Alex the student and he's in learning activities and his teacher has given this join code out. So I will click the join button and I'm going to paste that code from my teacher. Great, I'll join the activity. And this loads up those flashcards that my teacher created about the American Revolutionary War. So let's just go really quickly through this as Alex, he's doing okay. And when he's done, he got 75% right. He's still learning two and he knows six. Now we'll switch back to the educator and show what it looks like on that end. Okay, back in the educator side, I have one student started, that was Alex, average score 75%. Here were his challenging cards, and I can scroll down and see exactly which ones were challenging. So it's really nice in the sense of the educator can get those insights collected back from the students who are using the join code. All of this is built into the teach module as you saw here. So, educators can use the teach module to create the learning activities. Educators can go into their own learning activities home base and create new activities and share them. The last place I'll show is Teams for Education, and this allows educators to attach flashcards into classwork modules. So let's pull up Teams for Education. I'm signed into Teams for Education as the educator, and I will go into classwork. So I have a Revolutionary War module I've created here, and there aren't any resources in it. So I'll expand this. Now over on the right, click the plus button, and there is a new create with copilot option. I'll choose this. And now I have all those same options you saw in the teach module, including adding flashcards. So I click here. This allows me to create content. So we'll do the same as before. All my revolutionary war content down at the bottom. We'll just leave this terms and definitions. We'll click generate. Great, all my flashcards are created. Choose save activity. And now this has been added to the module and I'll return to the module. 
And when students open this up, they'll see the same flashcards as before. I'll get the same insights as you saw earlier. Now they're just attached to a Teams classwork module. Hopefully that gives you a good sense of how all this works with flashcards and learning activities. We're going to be adding a fill in the blanks activity and matching activity very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll make a future video coming soon. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.